I've never had a fortune quite like this. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm. Hello, everyone. I am at Tokyo Daijingu. Tokyo Daijingu is a very significant Shinto shrine, and it happens to be the most powerful love shrine in Tokyo. I just search what is the most powerful love shrine in Tokyo and this came up. For those of you who have watched my channel for a while, you may have noticed that I have been to quite a few love shrines. I've made quite a few love shrine videos. So um, let's hope this one's successful, right? A little background on this shrine and its significance. Issei Jingu is considered to be the most significant Shinto shrine in Japan, and that is in Mie Prefecture. It's a large shrine in Mie. I would really like to go there. This shrine was created in Tokyo as an extension of that shrine. So the gods or um, deities that are enshrined at Issei Jingu in Mie are also accessible at this shrine. So as you can see, it's very significant in Shintoism for a number of reasons, but as I said, it is famous for being a powerful love shrine. So let's go check it out. I just want to say that when I film at shrines and temples, I'm as respectful as I can and I do not film people praying. It is very important for me to respect these places. So I am going to do my best here, especially because it is a very significant shrine and I wanted to share it with you. Let's go check out Tokyo Daijingu. interesting fortune I have received and 
and I wanted to translate it. First of all, this is Chukichi, which is medium luck. So I don't necessarily think medium luck is bad. It's just not like, oh, like everything's gonna be smooth. So I think it's a more realistic fortune. Also, I'm a middle child, so I think medium and middle is good luck for me. I've never had a fortune quite like this. It told me, <laughs> it kind of made me laugh. It said, um, even if you're not with the person, you can enjoy thinking about them. It also said that like taking a short trip is good. I like to hear that because I love day trips, I love short trips. Like the person is coming along slowly. So I guess like this relationship will um, slowly progress. And then it said that like marriage is coming. So watch out, it's coming. The middle portion of this fortune, it had like a longer explanation. And it said that if I wear my pajamas inside out, that the person I'm longing for can appear in my dreams. Apparently if you wear your pajamas inside out, it'll cause you to have dreams about the one you love or the one you're thinking about. Maybe I should try it out, I don't know. This portion was a lot about like patience, things slowly progressing, and um, dreams and like thinking. I'm definitely someone who's stuck in my head or daydreaming a lot or like literally dreaming about someone. I thought it was quite fitting for me. It makes me believe it. And also if you watched, I took a minute to decide which one to choose. So I think this is definitely meant for me. I'm going to hold on to it and put it in my journal. The chimes are saying hello. I'm going to um, go check out the rest of this time, see what else they're selling, and then be on the road. I just bought these. I think you saw them in the beginning of my video when I arrived. Uh, these two wooden blocks, the white one you write your name on and you leave it at the shrine where I took a video earlier, I'll attach some footage, and then the red one, or one with the red string, you keep with you. So you make a wish and the white one is meant to remind the gods of what you wished for so it will always be at the shrine and the red one is to take with you as a reminder of your wish. So now I'm going to keep the red one, write my name on the white one, and leave it here at the shrine. You fill my head with roses. I can't help but dream away. Standing on a field with you and flowers everywhere. everyone. I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me to that beautiful shrine. I really enjoyed my time there and I was glad I was finally able to make it there. It had such a calming atmosphere and the love fortune and the little touches were, were very nice. Um, I always spend too much money at shrines. By the way, that's something that I allow myself to spend a lot of money on in Japan is like the shrines and temples. I'm always buying things there. You don't need to, but I'm really, really spiritual like when it comes to shrines and temples. So I like to bring something home with me and I like to like, see my fortune. Something I enjoy about Japan and I hope you can enjoy it too. Let me know in the comments what your favorite shrine is and what your recommendation is for a special shrine or temple so I can check them out. Arigatou gozaimashita. Bye.